Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat. Now this is the Asus PG 27AQ. It's one of the best 4K monitors for gaming as it supports G-Sync. But whichever monitor you have or you're thinking about buying, I'm sure you know 4K gaming isn't without its issues or challenges, with one of the biggest being the impact on your frame rate. I'm getting about 30 FPS here with a 980 Ti. So I want to share with you guys my top 5 tips for gaming at 4K. Number one is don't be afraid to lower the graphics by a setting or two, especially if your frame rate is struggling. There's often a very subtle difference between very high and ultra settings in some games. I think you'll agree getting a playable frame rate is more important than a higher level of detail on some clouds or maybe some snow. One setting in particular that by reducing or disabling entirely can significantly improve your frame rate is of course, anti-aliasing. AA smooths out the jaggies you can sometimes see in games, but as you increase the resolution, these become far less obvious and less noticeable. My second tip is something most of you guys probably already do, but it's to overclock your PC to boost your frame rate. It can be as simple as just pressing the OC or overclock button on your motherboard if you all support it like my MSI 97 does, or if you don't have an OC button and you don't mind tinkering a bit in the BIOS, changing the core multiplier, uh, perhaps even the voltage, uh, it's definitely worth uh, overclocking your processor because you can get upwards of maybe 5, 10, 15 percent uh, frame rate boost from doing it. And it's a pretty simple process as long as you take your time and you do the research uh, for the components you have, uh, as it's obviously very different for each processor and each motherboard. But I think it's fair to say most of us probably already have overclocked processors, but not many of us overclock our graphics cards or GPUs. It's pretty straightforward to increase the uh, core clock speeds and and the memory speeds of your graphics cards to again get a higher frame rate in your games. Make sure you do research uh, your specific card and how to overclock it before you uh, start doing it. I use a program called MSI Afterburner, there are loads of other ones, but it's a pretty easy way to just simply overclock your uh, card and then save and apply the settings. Once you have applied and overclocked to your processor or your graphics card, it's definitely worth uh, doing a stress test. You can uh, use things like MSI Combustor uh, to really sort of put your uh, PC through its paces to see if you get any nasty blue screens of death and to see whether you need to reduce your overclock a little bit. My third tip is pretty simple and probably applies to you guys who haven't yet bought a 4K monitor but are interested in upgrading. Basically, make sure you connect your computer to your monitor with a display port. Don't use HDMI unless you have a HDMI 2.0 port, which is quite rare. The problem is HDMI 1.4 maxes out at 30 hertz at 4K resolutions, and 30 hertz is pretty horrible. It's, everything feels slow and laggy. You really want at least 60 hertz. Now, if you're wondering about 4K monitors with higher refresh rates, unfortunately, the technology just isn't there yet. But later in 2016, as we see DisplayPort 1.3 connections arrive, we should start to see 4K 120 monitors come on the market. But for now, 60 hertz is what we're limited to, uh, and it's the compromise we have to make in order to see this in glorious 4K. Now, tip number four is about console gaming on 4K monitors. You may have seen me talk about this in my other more general five tips for 4K monitors, but since this is about gaming, it makes sense to include it here as well. But one of the most common questions I get is, can I play my PS4 or my Xbox One on a 4K monitor, and what's it like? Well, the short answer is using a 4K monitor with your games console isn't really any different uh, to using just a standard 1080p monitor. Since the games console's maximum display output is 1080p, full HD, that's all you're going to see on the monitor, regardless of the fact that it is 4K. Technically, what happens is each pixel on the 4K monitor, which has a resolution four times that of 1080p, will map to a 2x2 two two square pixel on the monitor. So you're not gaining any detail, but you're not losing anything either. It's just the same. But to the question of whether you can use it, Yes, you can. As long as you're using a HDMI port to connect to your games console uh, and your monitor does support HDMI, it doesn't matter which one because we're not talking about 4K resolutions. And of course, also then you have to consider sound. If you haven't got built-in speakers, this one does fortunately, but they are a bit rubbish, uh, you're going to have to either use headphones or figure out some external sound system. Last but not least, my fifth tip is about getting the most out of your 4K monitor by modding or even updating games to support high-res or 4K textures. There are loads of 4K texture mods for games like Skyrim and Fallout 4 and uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, whereas other games have been patched to support higher resolution textures like Rainbow Six Siege. So just make sure you download the updates. The good news though is that more and more games are coming out that natively support 4K textures. It's still a little bit rare, but the most obvious one is GTA V, which looks incredible at Ultra HD. So that's my top five tips for gaming at 4K, but as well as all these, do make sure you have the latest drivers, particularly uh, graphics card drivers, as it makes a big difference uh, when new GPU updates come out uh, to the stability and also the performance uh, in game. Games. And of course, if you have any tips for gaming at 4K, please do let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. But thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. And I'll catch you again right here on the Tech Chat. Cheers, guys.